Hey guys, Ron Placone here and welcome to another edition of Thoughts, Rants, and Cold Coffee. That's right, the old format is back. Donald Trump Jr. made a tweet comparing Syrian refugees to Skittles. Now you probably heard about that. What you might not have heard of is that he actually stole that sentiment from conservative talk show host Joe Welsh. In the land of right-wing talk radio, this is referred to as bigot borrowing. It's not a surprise the French right would use Skittles as an example. They're probably not fans. After all, Skittles' slogan used to be, Taste the Rainbow. According to the Kennedys, George H.W. Bush is voting for Hillary Clinton. It makes sense. You can't blame the guy. I mean, he does remember the last time there was a Republican in the White House. Former VP Dan Quayle does support Donald Trump, and Trump is a big fan of this. He said he's thrilled about Dan Quayle's endorsement. After all, Dan is named after his favorite type of egg. Hillary Clinton sent an open letter to all the Wells Fargo's customers that were victim of the bank's phantom account fraud. Customers were relieved to find out she wasn't blaming them. By the way, Wells Fargo, more like Will Forgo getting your permission to open these accounts and then charge you fees for it. NASCAR got hit with a discrimination lawsuit for allegedly trying to hinder efforts to bring racial diversity into the racing world. NASCAR likes their diversity the same way they like their tracks, going in circles and not moving forward in any way whatsoever. Well, that's been another edition of Thoughts, Rants, and Cold Coffee. This is Ron Placone, signing out.